Hey everyone, I'm Rob, and today we're going to be looking at the differences between Google's Gemini that was just released and ChatGPT4. We're going to be testing these models on different components and seeing which model overall is good for you. Since we have ChatGPT already, the only thing that we'll need is Google Gemini. Now, because I'm in Europe, Google Gemini is not released yet, so I've used a VPN to access Google Gemini. And how do we know that you're using Gemini? Well, if you go on over to Google and bard.google.com, you can just type in what model am I using? Once we type that in and press enter, it will say I am using Gemini Pro. Awesome. So let's get going. On the right hand side, we'll be using Bard and on the left hand side, we'll be using ChatGPT. Let's start by asking a simple logic question. Both are correct. ChatGPT4 is a bit more succinct, whereas Google Bard gives a more in-depth explanation. Nice. So both are pretty good. Let's go to understanding and context. For the next prompt, let's say explain the difference between affect and effect in a way a 10 year old would understand. I'm curious which model you think did a better job. I'm actually leaning a bit more towards Bard in this example. I know some people use these models for recipe ideas, so let's go ahead and check a recipe. Uh, let's try a gluten-free vegetarian cauliflower macaroni and cheese for four people. Okay, nice. Okay, so, so far both models are pretty good. They're pretty similar. Let's go ahead and try drawing. So in this prompt, I've said, please draw a cartoon dog that is sitting by a pond, happily reflecting on what a good boy he is. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I feel like there, there is a clear winner here. There is a clear winner when it comes to drawing. Okay. 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 Well, there was a clear winner as I mentioned. Um, okay. So anyways, moving on from that, let's go ahead and try coding. Cause I also know that a lot of people use these models for coding. We'll go ahead and we'll do a prompt. Can you write and run a Python script that sorts a list of names alphabetically? Okay. It looks like Bard has the way better response here. I feel like when it comes to coding, and yeah, I wonder if ChatGPT needed a bit more prompting or the, yeah, the prompt needed to be engineered better because I've seen better results from it. But anyways, moving on, let's go into how models handle ethical implications. To test the ethical implications prompt, let's say, what is your opinion on the ethical implication of gene editing in humans? Okay, so it literally kind of has the same sort of response on this, that they don't have any personal opinions or beliefs, and that here are the potential benefits, and here are the potential risks. And for ChatGPT, it, yeah, it pretty much says the same answer. Although, to be honest, I kind of prefer that with Bard or Gemini, that it, it categorizes the information into benefits and risks better. Now let's test both models ability to search the internet and provide recommendations from real time. So to that, I have made a prompt that is, would you recommend that I see the new Napoleon movie that is currently in theaters? Let's go ahead and see if ChatGPT or Gemini recommend this movie. And there we go. Okay, so Bard right away is a lot quicker and provides the positives and the negatives overall. Yeah, I really like the way that Bard does uh, uh, lay out the information. So in the end, using this prompt, again, I actually really like Google Gemini's way, the way that it lays out the information. I find it a lot more co coherent and easy to read. I do appreciate a chat GPT's output as well. I thought that it was, it was more nuanced than Gemini's, um, but for sake of ease of reading, I think I might actually have to go with Gemini here. 
Now I'm going to use its image reading ability to check out and provide some insights for a KPI dashboard. I've uploaded an image to both models and I've said, please provide five insights for a sales manager based on this KPI dashboard. Based on this output, I would go with ChatGPT. It provides more nuance and context and a bit more precision in the output of its answers than Google Gemini. So now I wanna test the conversational ability and the model's ability to remember previous information and to nuance it in creating content. So a lot of people do use these models for making LinkedIn posts, so why not test this out? So I have made a new prompt that says, please create a 50 word LinkedIn post celebrating these successes. Please use relevant emojis and hashtags. So let's go ahead and see the results. Okay, so Google Gemini is short to the point. I, I feel like it could go either way with these two, so I'm curious your thoughts. And lastly, for this short comparison, I want to test the abilities of both models to simulate something. So we know that getting ChatGPT or other models to simulate an advisor, etc., is a really powerful way to get the most out of your prompts. So I've just done a simple one here. Please simulate a life coach. So let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. Okay, so when it comes to simulation, I actually strongly prefer Gemini here. At the end of the prompt, it says, let's work together and prompting me to start conversating. In ChatGPT, it did not provide that. And I've, I've found in the past that uh, simulation with ChatGPT does require a series of prompting for it really to be like, okay, like to kind of create that conversational flow between the user and the model. But with Bard or Gemini, it, it did it right away. Um, so I said, I'm ready to get started. And yeah, I've said I'm ready to get started. And with ChatGPT, it kind of put out some, some generic things, you know, go for a walk, etc. Whereas when I put, I'm ready to get started in Gemini, it says, great, what are the areas in your life? Dun, 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 dun. So it really prompts that conversational flow a lot better. Okay, so final verdicts. I think for daily use, I would lean more towards Google Gemini, or sorry, Google Bard. The reason being is that I like the way that it lays out the information. I think the way that it categorizes information is a lot more user friendly and reader friendly um, as well. It seemed like the model was a little bit quicker than ChatGPT, although there you know it, it was by like seconds or milliseconds now when it comes to creativity this is where i would use ChatGPT. i think that ChatGPT's creative capacities are a lot better i mean when it comes to drawing and, and creating images there there wasn't a competition here um, as well i i think that uh, the way that it creates more precise information would make me lean more towards ChatGPT if i needed it for that but also too just thinking if google gemini or sorry, uh, if Google Bard using the Gemini Pro model is free for users, why would somebody pay for ChatGPT4? Um, so I think when it comes to the actual you know, end user, if they don't have to pay for this caliber, then I think ChatGPT is going to have a bit of a run for its money. Um, yeah, so these are the, the final verdicts. I'm curious what you thought or what you think when you saw the, the comparisons. And also if you have any experience comparing these two models yourself. So anyways, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.